Alright, so here's Leo again, and I'm Chrissy from Happy Critters. Um, so we're another way to brush. Let's say your breeder tells you to only use a pin brush, a pin brush and or a comb. Um, let me show you how to use those. I prefer the slicker brush with tangles, but you know, you can use a comb and a pin brush. A slicker brush used gently won't destroy hair. What destroys hair is matting. So keeping them brushed out in any way, shape, or form is going to be better on their hair. The mats are actually what cause damage. But, let me show you with a comb. So you do the same thing. You part the hair. And just with this little comb, you're just going to kind of find those little tangles. And you're just using one little tiny area. And you're just pulling just that little, little bit. It's tedious. And it's really, really small areas that you're working on. There's a little tangle there. And just gently, gently with just the edge. This is a pretty standard anti-static Teflon coated comb. This is the $20 all systems comb. It's a wide tooth comb, so a lot of those tangles can fall right in between. But you're doing the same thing. You're just kind of pulling those little tangles out with the comb instead of using a slicker brush, which basically just has more teeth. All right. The pin brush, so we get that little tiny mat out. You see how much more work it is with the comb than it was with the slicker brush. But they're coming out, you know, just take some time and some patience and your breeder will love it if you tell her that she's, you know, him or her, that you're using a pin brush or a comb. Alright, now if you're using the pin brush, the pin brush should have a nice rubbery base, it should be squishy, and the pins should be straight and they should be rounded off at the end. You don't want um, harsh edges that are going to rip at the fur and you don't want a ball at the end because that'll just grab into the mat and yank. You do want a nice straight pin. And this is another all systems brush. Not that I'm endorsing them particularly, but all right, and you're doing the same thing anyway. You're still making a part and pulling it through. What you'll find with this is that a lot of mats can kind of fall in between. Excuse me, could you put your head up, please, Leo? Thank you. Head up. Good boy. All right. But you're just gently, gently pulling it through with this brush, and you would still check your work with a comb. So. Let's just check our work in a minute. So pulled it through with the pin brush. I can still hear some tangles. You get used to being able to hear these things. I can hear some tangles in here. Let's check it with the comb. Nope, we got some tangles. It didn't fall right through. Now I might be able to get that tangle with the comb by parting it again and working on that little section. And you see how gently I'm doing it. So we got that little section done. 